Look at here, guys. Look at here what I have. The Ninja Foodie. Look at that. I just got it. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So this will be my first time using it. I don't know. We're going to do something with some chicken wings. That's all I know. Okay. There's some. I put a cup of water and some um, chicken um, bouillon concentrate in there. And I'm going to pressure cook some wings and then we're going to put it on tender crisp. Okay, here are my wings, guys, that I cleaned. I washed the wings, put them in a bowl. I'm going to use some Ms. Dash for right now. Okay. Mix them up a bit. Now mind you, I didn't plan this out. I just said I had some wings start out. My foodie's here. And let me do something with this. Okay. So now I'm going to transfer the wings into the foodie. Okay, so got the chicken wings down into the broth. I didn't put a rack in there. I'm going to pressure cook the chicken wings for five minutes. Okay, so let's turn this on. And I put the lid on. And it said to line up the arrows. I did that. And turn. Great. Make sure this is in the ceiling position. And it is. And let's see. I'm going to hit pressure. High. Five minutes. And then I'll let it do a natural release. And start. Here we go, y'all. Ninja foodie. Okay. I'll be back in a few. Okay. I'm going to turn to vent. And everything has already been, there's no pressure in here now. Oh, they look good. I'm going to drain the liquid off and then um, use the brawler function. Okay, be right back. Okay, I put the rack in. And I'm going to line the rack with the chicken wings. Okay, they're the chicken wings. You know, this Ninja Foodie holds quite a bit. I didn't think it was going to hold all my chicken wings at one time. Okay, I'm going to hit the uh, chicken wings with uh, a little more flavor. I'm going to add some brown sugar bourbon, just a little bit. You know, I always tell you I like to layer my flavor. Okay. You know, I tell you, uh, I always tell you I like to layer my flavor. I'm going to do something simple tonight. Just some, I'm going to spread over some barbecue sauce on the wings.
Okay, I think they're looking good already. Okay, I'm going to close the top. Turn it back on. So now we go down to the tender crisp area and I'm going to choose broil for nine minutes eight or nine minutes okay let's do eight minutes I don't want to they're already done I just want to crisp them up some okay start Be back in a few. Okay, guys, they're done. Let's see. This is after eight minutes. Oh, look, they're still sizzling. I think I might go another minute or two. I really want to get some crispiness there. Okay, be right back. Oh, now we're talking. Look at here, guys. Look at here. Look at here. Oh, and they smell amazing. Smell like they just came off the grill. Because this is some homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, my, my, my. Okay. Let me get these wings plated. And they're definitely going to have to cool off. I, I'm not burning my mouth tonight. And then uh, I'll let you know. Let me get these plated. Hey guys, these wings look so good. I hope they've cooled off by now. I'm going to take a taste. Alrighty. And it's all cold here. And so now I'm going to feel like I cooked out on the grill. Oh my. Mmm. This is really, really good. Mm, this is a winner for me. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta have my dinner now. This is good. So if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. And this is a winner and until next time honcho bb is out peace i saved the stock from my chicken i'm going to use that to go into my chicken noodle soup so i'm gone now for real until next time honcho bb is out